know anyone who has a compelling story, uh, uh, a story, uh, you know, of, of just uh, making it. But honestly, that's really all of our stories because we all have a story. Whether we are starting the process, we're in the middle of it, or we have seen our breakthrough. We are all, we all have a story and we want to hear from you. So please email us, Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com, Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com. We want to hear from you. And please follow us on all of our social media platforms. That is at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show. We're really excited because um, our shirts are coming out soon. I actually have one on. It's with my name on it. Uh, for you, for those of you who are watching uh, live right now on Instagram and Facebook, thanks so much. Send your comments, and we will uh, respond to you as the show goes on. So you can watch us live right now in studio, see what's going on, see what the new shirt looks like. Uh, I have a couple of them, but I have um, the one with my name on it today. I thought that was, you know, most... Uh, 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 the best option for today, you know, first day I should wear, you know, my name, right? I walk around, you know, right? Yeah, look who's on the other side of the boards. Uh, we're so excited to uh, have you here today. And of course, here on The Good Life, we always have a theme for each week. We have a theme for this each week. And this week, the word for the week is reconcile. We are reconciling this week. We are hoping to open our minds and your minds to living differently in the world. Uh, I'm about to pull up the definition for reconcile for you now. I have it in my notes. Uh, but with so much going on in the world, with so much, uh, you know, bitterness in our hearts, uh, fear in our uh, our minds and uh, anxiety that hangs over us. We see that in so many uh, events, uh, just in our everyday lives. And unfortunately, they really are, you know, uh, peeking out in the worst possible manners, literally in the worst possible manners. So I thought this week uh, it would be best suited as being a, a week of reconciliation. Uh, reconcile means to restore to friendship or to restore to harmony to make consistent or congruent, to reconcile an ideal with reality. Oh, we'll be talking about that throughout the week. Uh, uh, throughout the week you know we will. To uh, make consistent or reconcile an ideal with reality. We'll probably get uh, to that a little bit uh, tomorrow on Relationship Tuesday, so make sure you tune in for that. We will have... Um, Dr. Tammy Wilborn of Wilborn Clinical Services in the studio with us. Of course, we'll have our relationship, uh, our resident relationship counselor, Henry Jolly. We will have them here. We will also have Pastor Potan. I'm really excited. He will be here on, with us on Wednesday because if, if you all don't know, and I said a little bit Friday, but I am starting a fast. And so the only water I'm drinking, and honestly, the only thing I'm drinking, is going to be his alkaline water. He is a part of the WBOK family. And he really has uh, a spiritual basis and a renewal of of um, of the mind with regard to his water. Uh, and I, I don't want to get too much into it because I, I really want him to explain it. So make sure you tune in for Wellness Wednesday because Pastor Potan will be here. We have partnered up. Uh, so I will be drinking his water for the next 30 days exclusively. So I will let you know how uh, I have changed, what has changed, and what has changed in my body so I can give you a little bit of feedback on that. A lot of people ask about alkaline water. So I will let you know because I will be drinking it exclusively, exclusively for the next 30 days. You know, I'm reconciling my life as well. My birthday is coming up. So I figured this is a perfect day. The perfect time I should say to do a 30-day fast uh, additionally we will have uh, Bobby Clark Alexander my life coach and obviously yours she will be here on Wednesday as well we will have Pierre back on uh, he's one of the most conscious men I've known would love having conversation with him uh, he will be here on Thursday as well as the, some of the ladies of gumbo talk and then on Friday it's where we open our bags and tell you a little bit about myself and we kind of walk into it about what reconciliation is all about so that will be the week I'm really excited uh, to be able to have these conversations because how many times in our lives do we wish we would have reconciled something with someone at some point in our lives and you have that moment where it's too late you know the worst possible thing that could happen it'd be that person passes away or goes on to God that could be the you know and not saying that you still can't find reconciliation but those are a little bit harder when that person isn't here and they have lots of people who've come or been in those situations and I would not want you to be that person you know, so if we can find it in our hearts to open our minds to living differently in the world and to begin to walk into those conversations, to be walk, able to walk into that openness with the the, uh, the core values that we speak of here each and every day, love, tolerance, compassion, and understanding for ourselves and everyone else. Because 
as uh, as I was reading about reconciliation, you know, we, we have our conversations about it, um, you know, uh, between ourselves and our family and our friends. And you always feel like, you know, I need to go talk to that person, whether it be a relationship or, you know, I need to go have that closure, whether it be with an employer, I need to go have that, that final conversation or, you know, that exit meeting or, or, you know, everybody wants that closure. But so many times we need to have it within ourselves before we go have it with someone else. Yeah, I said that. We need to have that reconciliation within ourselves before we go have those conversations with someone else. Because so many times we're just reflecting uh, the anxiety, the anger, the hurt, the bitterness, the, uh, you know, our, our, our anger, and we're gonna reflect it onto that person. So we really just kind of end up having more of a back and forth rather than a healing conversation. So if you're gonna get to that point where you are able to have that conversation, which is absolutely a blessing if that's what you need, let's have it with, let ha let's have it be a healing conversation. Let's have it be a healing conversation because we don't want you to live with any regrets. I don't want anyone to be able to live or not be able to, I don't want anyone to live with regrets. It's, it's one of those things that like eats at your soul. Like I say, you know, a lot of people like sip that poison all the time and think that something else is gonna happen to the other person when it's really just eating away at you. So we want you to be able to walk into those, uh, you know, reconciliation is like a, a part of, you know, kind of forgiveness. Um, it, reconciliation is seen as a part of a process of a relationship, i.e. going wrong sometimes, typically as a result of one party causing a rift. But is it always really one party? Even if the other party, even if the party did something because of a, um, a misunderstanding or, you know, the other par party is, is really hurting themselves, but that affects you. There is a cause and effect, whether we want to believe it or not. We think that we do stuff in a bubble and it doesn't affect other people. What we do affects other people. And so we want to take this week to like look over reconciliation, to really like uh, delve into it. Look at it from different perspectives. Look at it from the perspectives of ourselves. Look at the perspective of, you know, others, of our children, of our family and friends. You know, this holiday season is, is fast approaching. We are already in the month of October. Can you believe it? Uh, October is the uh, awareness month for domestic violence. And um, for all of you listeners who have listened on a regular basis, know how near and dear this uh, conversation is for me because it is um, it is a situation that I've been involved in personally myself and and going through uh, social media and just like talking to friends the the um, let's see the the f I don't want to say freedom but I guess the freedom that I'm beginning to feel is to see that so many more women and men are able to talk about this topic out loud because for so long, we have not been able to reconcile it with ourselves because we have felt, uh, well, I can't speak for everyone else. I have felt like I had been wearing a Scarlet A. And, you know, if I told somebody, they would look at me differently or, you know, they wouldn't this or, or, or that or, you know, I wouldn't be accepted or, you know, I'd, I'd have the finger pointed at me or, you know, everybody would talk behind my back. But you know what? You can't change me anymore. And for each and every one of you who have been in a situation of any type of domestic violence, you know, male, female, young or old, you do not have to live in shame. You do not have to live in fear anymore. I promise you, tell your story. It took me 20 years. Don't be that person. It is difficult, but the freedom on the other side of it is so uh, liberating, I cannot explain it to you. And it is like opening an open wound, it is but I'm gonna be able to heal the wound correctly this last time. I'm gonna heal it correctly and I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna love myself and all of that, that uh, self-defeating behavior and all of that, that, that hurt inner child, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with all of that. And so I offer that to each and every one of you. This is the, um, the month of, uh, of uh, domestic awareness, domestic violence awareness, I should say. So I open up that for you. So we're gonna have a week of reconciliation. Also, this is, um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we want to um, have a little bit of reconciliation with regard to that. You know, there are a lot of women who, and men, who have gone through these processes and, you know, kind of feel the same way. They, you know, have felt maybe, uh, you know, the stigma of cancer, you know, how does that feel? But we need to embrace our brothers and sisters and everyone who is dealing with it, not just breast cancer, but 
obviously this is the month where we pay attention to this specific cancer, but each and every one that does have cancer. It's something that we can, um, I know we can defeat together, and so I hope we open our arms to each and every one that has it and, and, walks in that re and walk in that reconciliation as well. So, I am excited about this week. I hope you are excited about this week as well. Um, it's, it's, it's time to drop our bags. We've carried them for entirely too long. We have um, carried them for entirely too long. It's time. Let it go. Free yourself. Literally free yourself. There are really so many areas in my life and so many friends who, you, you know, when you see someone else, you know, have the... I want to say have the power, but have the strength to step up and say, you know, that happened to me. Or, you know, I'm going through this too. I know my, my Auntie Sharon, she's in London right now for the game, but she always comes on and she'll come on this month and have her conversation with regards to Breast Cancer Month. You know, I, I lost my grandmother from it. Uh, it. It is in my family. And it's, it's knowing about the, your uh, generational health as well. We want to know: uh, Do your parents have uh, cancer? Do uh, is it is it in your lineage? What is affecting you? And taking care of your body, so that you can change that narrative. So you can change that narrative and walk into the good life. You may not be able to eliminate it, but it is definitely something that we can begin to walk into and pay attention to. So we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of real re reconciliation this week. We're gonna do a lot of healing in so many different areas. So um, I'm really excited about this week. I hope you are too. Um, just to give you a little bit of update about what we're gonna do for the rest of the show, we are going to have uh, Mr. Randy Chambliss. He is with Nola's Homes Product project sometimes we need to reconcile our pockets y'all know it's monday we talk a little bit about money um on the first on the first monday of every month we talk about money home building real estate uh we're gonna have him for the next segment i'm really excited that and of course we'll have bishop henry bolden for our last segment and he will be talking about reconciliation you know about the heart about the mind about the soul and so how we can bring those to new levels so i want you to stay tuned for the entire show today um, it's going to be amazing, and most importantly, I want you to, um, if you're interested in this alkaline water, uh, please give Pastor Patan a call. Uh, you can give him a call at 504-701-4711. If you are interested in uh, alkaline, oxidated, ionized water, it is from Pastor Patan. He actually has a show here Thursdays at what is it, Lee? 1 or 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. on Thursdays. That is Pastor Pata. You can give him a call at 504-701-4711. That is wholewater.com. That's W-H-2-O-L-E water.com. W-H-2-O-L-E water.com. Um, we're about to take a quick break, but this conversation this week is about reconciliation. We're going to heal you mind, body, and soul. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. How are y'all doing this morning? Has anybody ever been in an argument that kind of lasted too long, a misunderstanding that lasted too long? Well, this is a week of reconciliation. Oh, y'all yeah, so I have the commercials going. Well, this is a week of reconciliation. We hope to walk into our freedom. If not for the other person, you may not even be talking to them anymore. It's really for yourself. We're going to, to drop our bags of, you know, hate, bitterness, hurt, uh, unforgiveness. We're going to drop those bags. We're going to get to the root of it and we're really going to step into our freedom and into our, our purpose because so many times when you carry all of that, it's really difficult to keep moving forward because, you know, it kind of plays in your mind. Oh, we have Randy on line one. We'll put him on in a minute. But we want to make sure that uh, we can release those things. And as I said before, uh, this week is, or this month, I should say, is uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's very near and dear to my heart. I don't know if you know someone or you have any family members, friends or whatever who have you know been affected by it, but there really are so many people. And the sad part is so many people stay silent for entirely too long. And um, it's just a sad process. So we wanna start having those conversations and letting people know that they are not alone. Cause that's probably one of the, the first things. When you know you're not alone, you're like, okay I'm not crazy and then it's easier to uh, kind of release yourself from the the negativity it's it's really not um, mm, I don't know about we're not gonna have that conversation today tomorrow or, or, or 
maybe that's the conversation for Friday when I talk about myself uh, for Domestic Violence Month. Actually, I think that'll be it. Freedom Friday, we'll have that conversation then. But you know, uh, comfort, we'll be having conversations about conflict resolution, um, all kind of stuff. So it'll be, uh, it'll, it'll be a week of healing. That's what I, I hope it is for each and every one of you. Maybe we could have Brothers at Peace on. That's a good idea. I'm gonna see what they're doing. That's a good idea. Hmm. Two more minutes. I don't know, how was y'all's weekend? Did y'all have a fun weekend? I had a chill weekend. Well, I can give a little bit about my fast. I started my fast, and let me just tell you, it's hard. Oh my gosh. The, um, the first day, wasn't that bad. I was really busy and I was on a I'm working in a campaign. I was on a campaign trail kind of helping out. And so it really wasn't that bad. Sunday, they always say the second day is the worst. And let me be clear, the second day was the worst. I'm putting the water so y'all can see it if y'all are interested in um following up with him. But the second day was the worst. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if it was just me, but I made the terrible decision of having two cups of coffee the day before I went. I started this this uh fast why did i do that i don't know so i had like caffeine in my mind i mean not in my mind on my mind literally but uh it was kind of awful so i kind of just went to sleep i did a, i did a little prayer to be honest i anointed myself and i took a nap um that's what i did um are we about to go back live nope so we have one minute left before we go live We're going to have Mr. Randy Chambers of Noah Holmes Project. If y'all haven't heard from him, this will be a, a really cool conversation. He's actually not in studio today. He's on the line. He's usually in here. I guess he, he said he got held up with the rain across the river. But long story short, he has um, my real estate uh, training pro dot com. And he teaches us how to do income shifting strategies, how to basically create generational wealth, whether it be with... Um, with regard to your finances, he has tricks where you can literally look at your W, your T's and your tax forms, learn how to change certain things and how that you uh, file with the government, and you're able to uh, get return on your money, like in two or three weeks from your job. I was like, that sucks. So he does these type of things. He teaches you how to make money with your own money that you already have. And then he also does uh, uh, buying homes and um, renewing them. So here we go. Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Motivation Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living a good life right here on WBOK, opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in and follow us on all of our social media platforms. That is at TGL Radio Show. At TGL Radio Show. We have so many things uh, coming up for you. We're going to be out and about a lot more, so we'll be on site having a lot more live uh, remote, so we're excited about that. If you would like to host us, please give us a call at 504-400-7127. You can go uh, online right now at tglradioshow.com that is tglradioshow.com for all of our rates and packages or we can create something just for you so make sure you give us a call or you can even email me if you want to email me you know you don't want to talk to me yet you know I'm not, I won't bite I promise uh, but make sure y'all email me e-i-l-e-e-n at tglradioshow.com which is exactly what this wonderful young gent did. I'm so excited uh, that he is one of my fabulous partners. I have Mr. Randy Chambliss on the line. Uh, we talk about generational wealth. We talk about opening our mind and this gentleman does that for us in so many ways uh, with MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com, NOLA Homes Project. He is taking it to, to new levels and if you want to take your, your life and your money and your pocket to new levels, this is the man that you want to connect with. Good morning, Randy. How are you? Hello? 
I said all that intro and he's not there? I'm just joking. Randy? Hello? I don't know. Is he not there? Maybe he's not. Randy? Hello? I don't know where he went. Let's see if we, uh, we can... Oh, there I'm he here. is. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. I hear you now. I thought we lost you. Maybe oh, the rain was ki was messing up our connection. It's raining outside. I'm, I'm looking at my friends who are in London for the game, and it's raining there. And they were like, oh, it's raining. I said, well, it's raining here, so I'd rather be in London with it raining than New Orleans. So, you know, I don't feel that bad for you. You know? <laughs> right? I know that's right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we are here. It is Motivation Monday. I know you always come in the first Monday of every month to motivate us to create generational wealth. He always talks about income shifting strategies, but today we're going to talk about a little bit about real estate and housing and, and what's going on in, in not just New Orleans, but really across the nations with regard to gentrification. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, it's an important topic. You know, a lot of individuals are comfortable about talking about it and some are not. I know. And so, you know, a lot of conversation we'll have, and particularly in social media and even just in personal meetings, you hear that term come up. Mm -hmm. And you know, from my personal standpoint, I look at it like this. You know, at the end of the day, we have to be the ones to be the solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to talk about the problem. It's very easy to talk about other people's solutions. Um, but it's very difficult to actually put your feet to your feet and actually do something about it. And so from my philosophy, I look at justification like this. Listen, you have a group of individuals that's been in a neighborhood for a very long time, and then another nation of people is coming in, buying up the land, buying up the property, and once they buy up the land and property, the values go up because they're creating businesses in that community that they're purchasing. Mm -hmm. And as they're creating businesses in that community, they're hiring their own people to run those businesses. And it's creating an economic empowerment for their nation. Right. And so for us as black folks, if we want to start to slow that down some or actually stop it, then we need to get our finances in order to be able to go and buy the same land. Exactly. Instead of selling our land or not be able to have an opportunity to purchase the land, or what if we can have a mindset development? And then it's followed by a real estate development. What if we buy our own neighborhoods? Imagine that. It, it, imagine <laughs> exactly. Didn't, right. didn't Jay Z mention that? That's how you rent the neighborhood. Right. Exactly. That's why I said it. <laughs> Jay Z was like, "Look, I'm trying to give y'all. Uh, I'm trying to. What do you say? I'm trying to give y'all uh, something for a nine million dollars worth of game for, for nine ninety nine. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? Randy is here doing the same thing. He's trying to give y'all game for nine ninety nine on how that we can, you know, create genera generational wealth. Continue, Randy. Absolutely. So at the end of the day, when we get ourselves with a, a proper mindset, so we have a mindset development saying, hey, it's possible, right? So when we understand that it's possible, because most people are living like they're living because they don't believe that they can have more than what they have. Right. So the first step is to change their mindset, knowing that it's possible. Secondly, let's get our financial in order. Let's raise up our credit score. Let's learn how to do that. Yes. Let's lower the expenses that we have, right? Yes. Let's start to pay down the personal debt we have. In other words, it's called income shifting, like we've been talking about. So once we shift our income, right, followed by shifting our mindset, now we have the position, now we can go out and buy the land. Now we can start to build businesses and create businesses in our community. Now we start to hire our own people in those businesses. And it's a livable wage job. Now we are lowering the crime down because we have livable wage jobs. So it doesn't make any sense to go out and sell narcotics and rob and steal if you're making seventy, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars. Right. Make sense. Right. And so until so we shift that mindset, get our finances in order, be strategic with it, that way we can buy our own land and keep our land in our own community. That's how you stop justification. That's how we stop it. And so I am, you know, I'm a listener. I'm I'm hearing you today. It's it's not falling on deaf ears. I'm like, you know what? What he's saying makes sense. How do I get involved? How do how do I get involved in the income shifting? You know, I want to get into real estate, but I've never done it. I don't know how to do it. I'm listening today. It sounds good, but you know, I'm like, oh, I'm a little hesitant. What do you tell me? Sure. First off, go to myrealestatetrainingpro.com. Myrealestatetrainingpro.com. Uh, for my individual that's looking to buy their first home, that's a tab at the very top that says first time home buyer. Gotcha. And then they click on that tab, and then they're going to see a little short video with a list of benefits of being a member. A member membership is free, right? That's a first time home buyer. Gotcha. They're going to discover how much they can afford to buy a house. They're 
can learn how to increase their financial real estate IQ. They can understand the homeowner's ownership process and, and more. And so once they go to that site, myrealestatetrainerpool.com, click on First Time Home Buyers, click on the little orange button that says click here to access the free course. Once they get on the inside, we actually recorded some of our live um, 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 uh, workshops that we did for First Time Home Buyers. I'm looking at it right now. Out. It really was that easy. It was two clicks. That was it. Yeah. Two clicks, very easy. They click on the orange button, they get to see a live recorded workshop that myself and our real estate agent team members did. And so now they can be able to get in there, watch watch that workshop, and then there's some other videos that's followed. That puts them in a position where they can buy their first home. And for those who are ready to move on to the investment property, then I encourage everybody to start getting in a position to buy your own investment property. Whether you're gonna hold it for rental, or whether you're going to fix and flip right now, it's just going to be a discretionary for that person. But that's what we started, is getting the credit scores up, getting the, the debt down, getting those expenses very low. In other words, we're going to show them income shift. And so I'm looking at it here, and it says free first-time home buyer membership. It says discover how much you can afford. That's a lot for a lot of people because, you know, sometimes you go to certain places and they're like, oh, you can afford this. You're like, yeah, but I'm going to be robbing Peter to pay Paul if I'm, if, if and it, it, but it makes it sound grand. You know, are, are you giving people a realistic amount that they can afford? Because we don't, you know, we don't want to get caught back where we were, what, 10 years, 10, 15 years ago. Correct. Absolutely. And yes, it's realistic. It's done every day. For example, I was having a communication, a conversation on, on social media. And then um, the conversation came up, yeah, but we don't have money to put down. Well, sometimes it's assumed that you have to put 20% down or 10% down to buy your home. Mm -hmm. That's not accurate. Mm -hmm. They have F F FHA loan program that only allows you to put 3.5% down. Wow. So to put that in a term of numbers, if you have a, a $100,000 home that you're purchasing, Three and a half percent is thirty-five hundred dollars. Wow! And so you have another cost that's involved is for your settlement fees. That's about two thousand for your settlement fees, mm -hmm. and of course your insurance and taxes that you have to pay. So let's call it another, you know, maybe three thousand okay. dollars. So totally, if you want to buy a hundred thousand dollar home, on estimate, you might be looking at maybe about eight to nine thousand dollars to bring it to the table. Gotcha. Now, here's what we do, right? We share some strategies that's not being taught. In America, and those strategies is that if you don't have eight, nine thousand dollars to put down, I which everybody it. doesn't, right? Right, but the seller who's motivated to sell their house for whatever reason could possibly give you up to six percent towards your closing cost. Hello. Now <laughs> that means if we using that same analogy of a hundred thousand dollar home, six percent is what six thousand dollars, right? So if you only have to bring to the table eight nine thousand, and the seller's going to give you six thousand, right? Right. So now you only have three thousand left to, to bring, bring to the table. Hello, and I would bring an extra one just in case. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And there's some other strategies. But how many people teach us that? To help cut that cost down. Right. How, how many people teach us that? That's why you need to be connected to this man. I'm telling y'all, he he will give you the real. He gives it to you straight. And he gives it to you clearly. Did I say that? He gives it to you clearly so you can understand. He doesn't talk at, talk to you like you don't know. He, speak to, he speaks to you like a human being. And he gives it to you clearly and correctly. So make sure you contact him. Um, you can go on MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com, MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com. I'm looking at it right now. It's saying discover how much you can afford. Learn how to increase your financial and real estate IQ. They teach you to understand the home ownership process. Learn how to establish and maintain good credit. Learn how to establish and maintain financial stability, which is so important. Stability, because you don't just want it for today and tomorrow. You want it for ever learn what are the initial loan documents you need so many times you may get to the table you may not have something he's going to make sure you have everything learn the mortgage lending process how to choose a real estate agent how to shop for the best mortgage loan he teaches you the seven steps of the mortgage process uh the roles of the 10 professionals involved in modern and most home purchases i didn't even know there were that many people randy you're teaching me something right now on air um he's going to teach you the home inspection basics the steps of the closing process and so much more you really need to connect with Mr. Randy Chambers. Randy? Yes, ma'am. I appreciate it.
Aline. I want to give it all because I'm, I'm reading it here, and I'm just like, this is amazing. That we have a mortgage product currently right now that will give you 3% to wash your down payment. What? So think about that for a moment. If that person is serious, they're ready to start rocking the world, they could give us a call. We can evaluate where they're at right now, and if they're ready to move forward, then they could receive up to 3% towards their closing costs. And if they're negotiating correctly, which they will, because we're going to connect them with one of our realtor partners, and then our realtor partners may be able to negotiate with the seller to get that 6% towards their closing costs as well. Now they can really come to the table almost zero dollars out of pocket. Wait, what? There's no excuses right now. (laughs) Wait, what? You have all these opportunities? It's game on right now. Wait, 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 what? I don't believe you said, wait, I wasn't understanding the words that were coming out of your mouth. Did y'all hear what he said? There are so many opportunities on the table. Now is the time to get in the game. Now is the time to get get in the game. If you have been sitting on the sidelines way too long and you've just kind of been inching and ifing, now is the time. You want to go to MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com. Y'all know every Monday we talk about ways to in, in, increase your money, to create generational wealth uh, for ourselves, for our children, our children's children, and seven generations to come. Jane, Randy, you know where I'm coming with seven generations. So we want to make sure, yeah, so we want to make sure that you know how to do that. There are free courses online there are tutorials and even if some people are, are iffy about picking up that call for picking up that phone for the first time and making the call you can go online you can watch his videos and then call him I promise this is a man you want to connect with Randy yes and so everything always starts with the mindset like we are already yes. know, I mean. and so you have to put a new mind in you you've got to get out of your original mind right some people say I'm, I'm yes. going out of my mind, my mind. good Get out of your mind. That way you can renew your mind, right? Yes. You, you must reconstruct your thinking every day. We got to sell ourselves and recondition our mind that it's possible. Good things are supposed to happen to me. Yes. Yes. And and we talk about good things are supposed to happen to you. Well, this is the good life. And I only bring you good stuff. I only connect you all with businesses and people that I know work. And this is one of those things. I promise you my real estate training pro. And if you go online right now, of course, if you're a first time home buyer, you can get that information. But you can also get information about an investor crash course, um, their mentor program, your finance, your financial IQ. And they have events. I know, uh, Randy, you have an event every Thursday. So what goes on on Thursdays? Tell us. Yeah, so basically we do a webinar on Thursdays about 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, and it goes into the concept of income shifting, about how we're sharing with people how they can go to their job, re-look at the W-4 forms, make some corrections on there, and pick up an extra 200 to $800 on their pay period, on their paycheck, oh. the next paycheck, without asking their boss for a raise. And so that's significant because a lot of people are facing foreclosures because they don't have an extra $500 a month. Right. But if we show you how to make those corrections, shift your income, now they'll be able to pick up that extra income they did not have, and we're showing them what to do with that money. Let's start an emergency savings account just in case you need ties for the car, and then also we start to show them how to pay off the debt. Because when we want to pay off our consumer debt, get that down, when we're able to limit it, and minimize our expenses, our credit scores are going to automatically go up. And so that's what we teach on on Thursdays at 8 p.m. It's a webinar style of how to shift your income. And it's right there at the top of MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com. You can click to register for the free webinar. And did y'all hear the webinar is free? Did, did y'all hear that? I don't know if you heard that. But the webinar is free, and that is every Thursday. So make sure you go to MyRealEstateTrainingPro.com and click to register. And and this isn't just in the New Orleans area. This is further than that. R- right, Randy? Yes, it's across the country. We have strategic partners in Chicago because I know that's a large crime problem in Chicago as well. So in Chicago, we have some strategic partners. We're going to be in Houston pretty shortly with all this, all this things going on. But also, you know, we could be reached on social media at, at Facebook at My Training Pro at Facebook, My Real Estate Training Pro, excuse me, on Facebook. 
And so I wanted to make sure that anyone listening, because I have a lot of listeners who uh, last week were telling me from Cincinnati and Michigan and throughout the nation, this isn't just New Orleans. This is for across the country. If you need to learn how uh, to grow some investment uh, uh, tips and, and ways to you can create generational wealth, my real estate training pro is where you need to go. This isn't just regional. This is nationwide. So make sure you tell your family and friends, no matter where they are, to go to myrealestatetrainingpro.com to grow their mind, to grow their business, and to grow their pockets. It's Motivation Monday, y'all. We want you to open your mind to living differently in the world. Randy, thanks so much for being a great partner, and we will talk to you soon and very soon. And if you are interested in any of his information, please go to myrealestatetrainingpro.com and of course, uh, if you follow us on WBOK or the Good Life Radio Show, we have also shared his information there. So thank you so much, Randy, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Y'all know I only bring y'all, y'all, those businesses that do business the good life way and y'all want to make sure that y'all connect with him we're going to take a quick break we're talking about reconciliation this week you know we want to make sure we just we talked to randy about reconciling our pockets it's motivation monday we got to reconcile our pockets because that can be a, a real strain on our lives at times so we wanted to get that done and we're going to talk to uh bishop henry bolden when we get back we're going to talk to him about reconciling our minds our souls we're going to get it all together this week y'all it's a good life it's eileen i'll be right back Good morning. You can plan your trip ahead of time or on your phone. You can text the stop number to see when the next bus is coming. You can follow New Orleans RTA on Facebook. All right, let's see. How are y'all doing today? I don't know if anybody's looking for a house or looking for a little extra money, but Randy's products, I can't even say products. Randy's uh uh I can't even think of a word today. Randy's way absolutely works. I'm not kidding. And what's one of one of the best things, you know, when people talk about, oh, this works, he doesn't just talk about it. He did it. And that's how he knows that it works. He found this strategy. He worked it. And he's like, I found my breakthrough through this, which is why he offers it to so many people. So uh, make sure that if you're interested, if you know someone who's interested, that you go to myrealestatetrainingpro.com. And it's not just here in New Orleans. It is nationwide. Uh, I try to offer things that uh, one here that everyone can tap into so that is the good life you know we have to get ourselves together mind body mind body and soul and and one of those things that keep our mind balanced you know is our, our pocket uh and we we talk about this sometimes that god doesn't want us to be poor he didn't put us here to be broke so he wants us to take care of ourselves so let's find those income shifting strategies that we can do that he was talking about going to your your w your w4 forms and you know being able to uh change certain things and be able to get two to eight hundred dollars uh on your on your uh your next check literally by changing it now what if you had a two income household imagine the the amount of money that would change just with those strategies that he gives for free which is why you need to follow him um he gives those strategies for free and then you take that money that you save. I mean, if you need to go t handle something immediately, that's one thing. But you really want to take that money, open a, a, a separate uh, an account, start putting it there, and then use that money uh, to create generational wealth and, and, you know, start knocking things down so you can live the good life. He teaches you all kinds of things there, which is uh, why I wanted to share that information with you. So let me pull up my notes for the next segment because y'all know I lost them for this first segment today. I couldn't find them at all this morning. But oh well, wasn't supposed to happen that way, right? It is pouring rain outside. Good Lord. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Hopefully not, but um, we are here on the Good Life Radio Show. We are based uh, in New Orleans. This week's conversation is about reconciliation. Reconciliation. We kind of uh, have a theme each and every week. So if you're just tuning in now, uh, you will know what it's all about. Uh, reconciliation, reconciliation on so many aspects of life. So many times we need to reconcile uh, with ourselves, with other people, with you know our money, with our health, uh, with... Uh, just so many aspects of life that I wanted to make sure we talk about this. Let's see. 
Current cards. All right, y'all, I'm just pulling up. To restore harmony, harmony to our lives, to resolve or be consistent. How many things do you need to be consistent in your lives? Wow, let me count the ways. <laughs> Lee, you're back. Y'all can't see my producer. He's on the other side of the glass. But he keeps me in check. Thanks for my intro and stuff. Email to me. <gasps> do we have the... Uh, do we have the... Oh. The, do we get the jump drive too? He's going to look at me crazy. Oh. We're back. Welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Motivation Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We know that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in. This week's conversation is about reconciliation. At the beginning of the show, I tried to give you a breakdown of the week. Uh, we're going to hit it up in so many different ways. You know, estrangement, uh, uh, reconciliation with regard to conflicts in our lives. You know, how to really start breaking those things down so we can start living with more love, tolerance, compassion, understanding for ourselves and others. We talk about that each and every day. But we want to make sure that we really start to walk into it. So we're going to have a whole week of reconciliation. Maybe by the end of this week, you will reach out to someone that you've been needing to for a while. Uh, maybe you will start forgiving yourself. Like I said, uh, this month is uh, uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, maybe it's uh, you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to forgive someone else. Maybe, um, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, hopefully this week can bring a little uh, satisfaction of reconciliation to your mind, uh, heart, and soul. We have Bishop Henry Bolden on the line with us this morning. Good morning, Henry. How are you? Good morning, Eileen. I'm great. How are you? I am too blessed to be stressed. That's what I'm talking about. It is raining outside. Hey, so morning, I'm going to look at it as a cleansing day. And we are talking I about reconciliation. Yeah, see? There you go. Everybody, yeah, yeah. people don't like, I don't like the rain. I like the rain. I'm like, it's cleansing something. Hopefully it's cleansing me. And, you know, we're all on this walk of reconciliation in, in different aspects of our lives. It could be our mother. It could be our, our father. It could be a sibling. It could yeah. be, you know, a coach. It could be, you know, a, a former lover. It could be a former friend. Whoever that person, uncle, aunt, whatever, cousin, you had an argument, whatever it is, teacher, whatever it is to you, we are all on that road in one way or another. So I really wanted to have a, a, a week conversation about it. And you always start the week uh, so well, motivating us to begin to walk in that reconciliation. Because when we don't, it's, 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 it's not real comfortable, is it? It's, it's, mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely um, not. Yeah, I mean, you know, when we think about reconciliation, and you, you talked about some things that are very, very pertinent in terms of past relationships and those impressions and those impacts that those relationships and our interactions with those relationships our people have left in our mind it, it, it shaped our psyche it shaped yeah. our perception it shaped even how we interact or treat other people yes oh my gosh um, yes. because you, you become mature enough to realize that if you're not careful you'll reduplicate those infractions and those things that were perpetrated against you. Um, over and you over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. Because when you don't reconcile, really what you do is you enter into a recycling mode. Wow. Because you don't let anything in because of your fear of this happening again. And mentally it messes you up because one of the questions that really linger and, and just from years of counseling people is that how could I not see what was coming coming mm. and so 
so we, we battle with that. We struggle with that because we try to reconcile. <laughs> hmm? That was big thunder. Oh. Um, we reconcile, try to reconcile within ourselves. Uh, at what point did my intellect fail me? Or at what point did my emotional Ooh, Henry, You're hitting on me. something right there. So many of us, you know, and, 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 and you're opening my mind right now on air. Because so many of us get stuck at that point and don't yes. get to the full reconciliation. Yes. Yes, it's, you know, you have to, be, because the problem is, is you beat yourself up for being beat up. Mm. Yes. And you, you go through this recycling period, so you don't let anybody in because now... You're so guarded, you're extra suspicious. Um, and the, the flip side of that is is that you don't release yourself. Um, you don't release yourself to be human enough to say, okay, hey, I made this mistake and maybe I had a lack or a lapse of judgment, right. but I have to live beyond this moment. Right. I can't stay in prison to an issue that will destroy me mentally, internally, that will stop me from loving, that will mm. stop me from trusting. You can't imagine the number of people who refuse to love somebody based on what somebody did them 20 years ago. I mean, there's some people I know. that are still, yeah, <laughs> that, that are still yeah. imprisoned by people who have been dead for over a decade, two decades, mm -hmm. and their words and their actions still haunt them. So you got to make up your mind you're going to reconcile First of all, you have to reconcile to yourself. Yes. And reconcile literally mean in one sense is to make an account, reconcile, take an account of what happened, what could have been different, what do I need mm. to change, and, and, and make those necessary steps to change and move into the right direction. Henry, you just hit so many points. I, I, I love it. Because when you said people get stuck on that, yeah. about, you know, woulda, yeah. coulda, shoulda, and, and, and get stuck in a victim mode. I don't say a, a mentality, it kind of is, yeah. but you, you get stuck in that, that victim mode and you can't move past that. Yeah. I should have known better, you know, how could yeah. I have let this happen to me? Yeah. Right, and then, and then you're pulling all of this blame and guilt and, and stuff and mess on type of yourself, so yeah. then you have to dig yourself out of that before you can even start, because the reconciliation for the the other thing still needs to happen at some point, right? Absolutely. It just yeah, gets it, it just kicks it gets kicked further down yeah. the road. The priority list. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It just kicks. And so, how many of us have just kicked the reconciliation down the road and really need to start kind of forgiving ourselves for letting, for for uh, I don't want to say getting into those situations, but for for opening up maybe. You know, I was talking to somebody recently, and I'm like, you know, you can't be upset. Okay, this one didn't work out. You may have, it may be a lesson learned, but you were only being open to love. Like, I don't see that as a bad thing. Yes, it may not have worked out the way that you wanted to, but it's always a 50-50 chance. It's either going to work or it's not. Yeah. Well, and if you, when you counsel people for an extensive period of time, you realize that one of the greatest hindrances to the reconciliation process is, is generally personal ego. Wow. Egotism is an element of ego. Because I'm too, I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, mm. and not in front of other people, but I'm ashamed of myself. I have to look myself in the mirror and say, wait a minute, I'm stronger than this. I, I told people not to do certain things, and, and so how could I have been perpetrated when I'm this strong, when I'm this intelligent, when I have this degree of poise about myself? And so... One of the things that really hinders you from reconciling is that you have to humble yourself to say, hey, you know what, there are some cunning people in the world. There are some people yeah. that will get beneath your radar. There are some people that won't be detected by your level of discernment. And But the problem is just because um, you have to not give yourself the right to keep reliving those things. Oh, wait, so say that again. You, them, you can't be revived from them, and if you can't be revived, you can't be reconciled from them. Henry. Yes, ma'am. Just, I just laid out right here in the studio. <laughs> For everybody watching, I just laid out in the studio. He just dropped a, that wasn't even a nugget, that was a bombshell of information. 
That was really a bombshell of information, Henry. Absolutely. Just because, you know, I said, just because you remember it does not give you permission to keep reliving it. Just you because you remember it does not give you permission to relive it. Relive it. Hello. Yeah. Wait, I'm I, I'm gonna quote you. <laughs> y'all follow me on on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Y'all gonna see that today. <laughs> Just because you remember it does not give you permission to relive it. Pastor Henry Bolden. Yes, that is the quote of the day, and that is so true because you can't come to any reconciliation if you're if you keep reliving something. Absolutely. Well, you know you're not totally healed or delivered, or you have totally processed it or gotten closure from the issue. When every time you think about it, it brings you back to the exact point of pain. Wow. You know, if you think about it in three years from now, you feel the exact same way, the exact same hurt and anxiety that you felt a second after it happened, then it's not been processed, nor has it been internally reconciled. Hmm. You, it's still open. You have not allowed yourself to say, okay, nothing more can be done about this matter. It happened. I processed it. I'm not minimizing it, but I have to take it as a lesson. Right. And I have to, I have to use what, what was attempted against me as ammunition for me. Wow. Everything that was attempted to assault me and assail me in some regard, I have to now use that as ammunition to be a stronger version of me in the future. Hmm. And, and that's and that's what we want for each and every one of us. That's the good life. And we're not pointing fingers as to where you where you are because we're all on this journey. We are all here to master ourselves. That's what I love to say. We're, we're here to master ourselves. And so we're all at different points, and we're all here to help each other. It's about connection, and it gets so much easier when you, we are able to reconcile different aspects of our lives and begin to heal them. So I want to uh, thank you for being here this morning. Henry, how can they follow you? you for keep having me. (laughs) Every Monday. Where where would I be without you? Where would we be? We've been been hanging for a while here. (laughs) You are so silly. Uh, Y'all, you can follow Henry where? Henry, actually everywhere. Everywhere Everywhere. you can follow him. Henry Bolden, B-O-L-D-E-N. Go to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can actually personally email me. There's no team, there's no staff. (laughs) It's just him. Most important, I answer them myself at hbolden3, H-B-O-L-D-E-N, the number three, at yahoo.com. Y'all call him, I promise. Do it, do it. I'll be Call waiting. him when you need someone to talk to. No, I cannot <laughs> sing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. This is The Good Life. And if you want to follow me, make sure you can do that on each of our social media platforms. That is at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you would like to join the show, please go online right now, tglradioshow.com, tglradioshow.com, and uh, check out our rates and packages. And also, we are up on YouTube. I'm really excited about it. Make sure you follow us. That is TGL Radio Show. If you notice the branding, it is all the same everywhere you go. TGL Radio Show. It is everywhere that you want to be. Please join us. This is a movement. We are going to be opening minds to living differently in the world. And I'm so thankful that you are part of the process. This is Eileen, y'all, and I'm out. Hey, y'all. Mm. I hope you enjoyed the show. We are reconciling this week. Uh, there's so many different aspects of our lives that we really need to take a hold of before we move it, before we move on. Um, and I uh, declare to you that this is the week to do it, or at least this is the week to start embracing it. It may not be something that you walk in today, but you know, just acknowledging it is half the battle. And then that second battle is the willingness to start walking into it. Even if this week is a baby step, let it be that baby step, and then we can start, you know, growing together and mastering ourselves. Oops, I was letting the commercial dry, y'all. So I don't know if y'all heard me, but we're talking about mastering ourselves, and with that process, we really need to um, reconcile certain aspects of our lives. And so I don't know what they are for you. I'm working on them myself. We're going to be doing them together. I am on a fast. Uh, If you are interested, you can get the same water I have at 504-701-4711. That is whole water at 504-701-4711. Pastor Paten will be talking about his water on, he'll be right here on Wednesday. So I'm really excited about that. It is alkaline water. Um, It's really crazy because this is all we drink here at WBOK. And um, 
you really can see a difference. I mean, and so he is going to tell you all about it. I am not the one to break down alkaline water, but he will be here to tell you all about it on Wednesday, uh, you know, Wellness Wednesday. So he will be here talking about uh, his alkaline water, and it's what I'm doing for 30 days. So if you're interested, you want to join the party, join the water party, um, make sure you give him a call. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye, y'all. I'm out. Bye, and